What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Huddle. I'm your host JR Dunlap and today we're going to be unboxing the Air Max 1 Tokyo which was part of Nike's own Air collaboration where they collaborated with six different designers all across the country. Now getting into the unboxing, when I open this box, first thing that catches my attention is this beautiful postcard that we do get here which does symbolize the Tokyo Maze which you can find on the upper of the Air Max 1 of this sneaker. And when you flip the card around, it is from Yudotakim the designer. There's a really good touch from Nike and the designer. The first thing that gets my attention is all these beautiful laces. And I know a lot of people were not a big fan of the rainbow laces and the sneaker, which we'll get to the sneaker in just one moment. But you do have a, you do have a red lace, you have a black lace, you have a white lace, and then if you don't like any of those, you have a combination of red, black, and white, along with the rainbow laces. Now, getting into this beautiful design from Yuta Takuman from Tokyo, as you can see on this Air Max 1 on the left shoe, we do have a primarily white upper with black accents. Now, the black accents here are a train-like structure which are set to symbolize the trains that are up under the ground in Tokyo. Now the red air bubble here that you see here, that beautiful varsity red, is set to symbolize the red tower in Tokyo. The Tokyo Tower which does light up red which also is set to contrast and color block this beautiful Nike Air logo on the heel. And we do have the rainbow laces on both of these sneakers, but on the left sneaker that we do have here in our hands that we're talking about right now, the laces here are set to symbolize all the different colors that you would see throughout Tokyo. Now, my favorite aspect of this entire sneaker is the beautiful translucent outsole. And we do have Tokyo Maze in red, which once again is set to symbolize the red Tokyo Tower. See here, now, it does say Nike Tokyo Maze, but if you don't like that, or if you want to color block it with a different set of laces, all you got to do is take it off. It is just simply Velcro there. And in case you were wondering, Nike sent tons of different options for you to put some more different things to where you can color block them with the particular laces that they send them with. But for now, we're going to put this Tokyo Maze back on the tongue of the shoe and we're going to get into the second sneaker. He totally changed everything up on this one. As you can see on this sneaker, it is a primarily black upper. We do stay consistent with the red air bubble, which is set to symbolize the red Tokyo Tower and along with the red Nike Air on the heel which Nike Air is just the way to go. I, I love Nike Air on the heel on every sneaker. Uh, you cannot go wrong with Nike Air on the heel of a sneaker. If, if I could have that symbol on every single pair of sneakers that I own, I would be thrilled. Since we do have a consistent train-like structure all the way around the sneaker and also we got the rainbow laces and he did stay consistent with the Tokyo Maze on the outsole of the sneaker, which is translucent with that beautiful red varsity red. And if you guys were curious which one, which pair of laces that I'm gonna rock with these sneakers, I'm definitely gonna go with this red because one, it matches the tongue of the Nike Tokyo Maze, which I really love the Nike logo. I'm a big fan of the swoosh. And then going back to the red air bubble, those red laces and the red tongue are gonna color block very nicely. And then also staying consistent with that beautiful red on the heel tab there for the Nike Air. I just, I'm gonna go all red on this sneaker. I, I love red. I think red, black, and white is gonna look both, I think it's gonna look really well on the predominantly black upper and the white upper. So I'm a big fan of these sneakers, guys. And speaking of the quality of these sneakers, which when I first saw these sneakers, I thought that the Tokyo Maze pattern I thought that it was screen printed, but this is actually leather embossed in here. So the quality of this sneaker is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're looking to pick these up, you can definitely pick these up on StockX for about, I think they're on StockX and GOAT for about $180. So if you're looking to pick these up, I would highly recommend them. The quality on these sneakers are absolutely phenomenal. A lot better than I thought they were going to be because I was a big fan of these sneakers prior to receiving them. But then once I opened them up, saw how good the quality was in hand, it made me that much more excited to make this video. So that's all that I have for today, guys. If you haven't, please do smash that subscribe button to stay 100% up to date on 
all hype sneaker releases and more sneaker reviews coming in the future. God bless and have a great day.